How are you doing today? This is Vincent again from NewbieWebDesign.com The best free web design resources for anyone who wants to build a website or web page, especially beginners. But before I get started, I just want to mention that you can search and search through a lot of websites that list every so-called free graphic program or you can visit my site newbiewebdesign.com and find only the best free and useful graphic programs that I use and I know work. And these are programs any beginner who wants to build a web page can use. Along with these programs are links to the best video tutorials for each program. Now today I want to give you a quick overview of MW Snap. With this program, you can capture images from any website you visit or even a DVD or video you're watching on your computer. Now, there's been a lot of times I've tried to download a picture from a website, but it wouldn't let me, so I captured the image with this program and saved it to my computer. So this is a very useful program. Now, before I get started, I want to mention that I'm using the free program Cam Studio to make this video. It's a free open source program that anyone can use and download and make their own videos. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, time is limited so I'm not going to show you how to download and set up this program. You can Google it, find it, download it, and open it up yourself. Now this is what the program looks like when you open it up. And this is a window where you'll see the image of the screen capture you make. Now there are a couple of ways you can find a graphic or an image you already have and load it into this program. One is to click on this open files button, find a file with an image you want, click on that, double click on the image and it will open up into this window right here or you can drag and drop an image into this program. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, I'm going to drag and drop this image and there we have the image in this window. Now I can edit this image in a couple of ways. I click on Edit, Transform, flip it horizontally, vertically, rotate it to the left, rotate it to the right. I could add a frame to this image, a simple frame, a shaded frame, or a buttonized frame. I could add a cursor to this frame. And let's say, for example, I wanted to make a tutorial using just uh, images. I could add a cursor, just like this one here, and show people step by step where to click. So again, uh, a neat little uh, edit feature in this program. Okay, down here at the bottom, I could uh, zoom in on this image. I could zoom out on it. I can copy and paste this image. I could capture a part of this image. I can uh, flip it horizontally or vertically from down here. I can rotate it to the left, rotate it to the right. I can make a simple frame. I can make a shaded frame or button eyes from down in this area. Let's go ahead and click on a shaded frame. And as you see here, the outside of the frame is green. The inside is black. I can change the outside of the frame color by clicking on this button here. And let's go ahead and change the color. I can change the inside color of the frame. Let's make it white and I can change the width of the frame as you see here buttonize the frame or make a simple frame let's go ahead and use a shaded frame hit accept and there I have a frame around this image now I could hit file print out this image I could hit save here or save as and I can save this image in five in one of five different formats bitmaps, JPEG, GIF, PNG or TIFF. Now a lot of times 
when I'm saving a small image, I want to save it as a GIF or a JPEG format. And the reason for that is a lot of times I find that with smaller uh, images, especially GIF, the file size will be smaller. And you want to use the smallest GIF or JPEG file so your web pages will load faster. But I'm going to go ahead and save this image as a JPEG format. And uh, this little window here, you can find different files where you want to save your image. And, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and save it to my desktop. Again, I'm going to rename this. and save it to the desktop and now it's saved okay we're going to go ahead on up to a website okay I'm at my website now newbie web design uh, and uh, I'm going to want to capture an image from this web uh, page and this is just part of the web page but uh, let's go ahead and capture an image so I'm going to open up the program. I'm going to click on Capture. And I can save a fixed size rectangle from my website or any area. Or uh, a fi fixed size. Or I could go ahead and click on this and pick a size that I want to capture. But normally I'll capture any area. So let's click on that. Left click on my mouse drag and drop drag and drop this and guess what I have an image and now I'm gonna go ahead and edit that image add a simple frame leave it blue hit accept and now you see the image around this I'm gonna go ahead and save this again I'm gonna rename it change the quality size of the image and click save now again I could have a uh, pre-picked uh, rectangle uh, size so I click on snap and let's say I want to click this area right here so uh, go ahead and uh, click on that there I have a captured image again Click Save, name it. I'm going to save it as a GIF file this time. And there we go. And it's saved. Okay. So don't forget to visit my website, newbiewebdesign.com, where you'll find a lot of great information and tips when it comes to building a quick web page or making your own graphics take a look around bookmark it you'll like it now if this video was helpful please rate this video and subscribe so you can be notified of any new videos I upload again thank you for uh, watching and have a great day